The longest day of the year has been and gone, but that doesn't mean the month is slowing down when it comes to Xbox Game Pass and brand new titles arriving into the service. Kicking things off with something from ye olden times. You go into Medieval Dynasty with dreams of commanding your own vast and bustling kingdom, respected and revered by all around you as you gaze out upon the world that you've painstakingly crafted for your people to flourish in. Oh, but first, you're going to have to do something about that wolf. That's because Medieval Dynasty combines both large-scale strategy and day-to-day -day survival, especially in the beginning where you start out as a simple peasant with nothing to his name and a family to provide for. Dreams of dynasties will have to wait until you've found something to eat, a place to sleep, and a sharp stick to keep prowlers away, but soon you'll be able to start building your way up towards something more glamorous. It's the perfect game to keep you occupied on Xbox Game Pass for PC until Age of Empires 4 arrives, offering a clever twist on the traditional RTS blueprint, and it's available right now. There are a ton of major titles arriving straight onto Game Pass on day one throughout the year, and next up is the spiritual successor to the beloved Baldur's Gate games, Dark Alliance, which is available to download now. Set within the world of Dungeons & Dragons, but requiring a lot less dice rolling and more button mashing, Dark Alliance is an action RPG which lets you team up with three friends to go cleave some goblin skulls together. As you would expect, in a D&D inspired game, Dark Alliance is all about letting you play the way you want, with a range of characters to suit every playstyle and a ton of abilities to unlock. Fight from afar with Catty Bree, get stuck in with Brunor Battlehammer, or sit back and watch your pet panther do the work as Drist. Dark Alliance boasts a vast fantasy world to explore and a ton of horrifying monsters to battle, all of which look even more fantastical in 4K60 on the Xbox Series X, and thanks to smart delivery, you'll be able to magically play the right version of the game for whatever Xbox console you happen to be playing on. If you stay ready to rumble, you don't have to get ready to rumble. That seems to be the guiding philosophy of Team 17's iconic Wormy Warriors, given that they never seem to be more than a few seconds away from launching a ballistic missile. And to be totally honest, we wouldn't have it any other way. Worms Rumble takes a step away from the traditional turn-based warfare which the incorrigible invertebrates are usually waging, and instead lets them duke it out in real time across a 2.5D battlefield. So you can all jetpack around, firing sheep at each other with total abandon on Xbox Game Pass for console, PC and cloud. There's also a ton of cosmetic options for you to kit your chosen worm out with, but you should probably still try not to get too attached. The life expectancy of worms wasn't all that great even before we gave them rocket launchers. Iron Harvest, available on PC today, takes place in an alternate version of the 1920s, where Europe has gone full diesel punk. The upside is that you have access to a whole world of bizarre smoke-spouting mecha tanks. The downside is that you're going to need them to survive. It's the perfect setting for a real-time strategy game, letting you choose between three different fuel-guzzling superpowers as Europe descends into war once again. The campaign modes are full of well-written characters who add nice personal stakes to the bigger story, but the real stars are the mechs themselves. Wonderful, impossible lumbering machines that all look like they were cobbled together out of some spare parts and petrol fume induced hallucinations. They're an absolute delight to send thundering towards your enemies, especially when they start crashing through the game's highly destructible environments, like an army of mechanized Mr. Blobbies. If you long for the simpler days of grungy first person shooters like Quake and Doom, you should set your sights on Proteus. This retro FPS was built specifically to deliver a game which felt like one of the classics, but looked like a modern action game with fairly glorious results. It's got all the little touches that make today's shooters so immersive, like dynamic lighting and particle effects, all in service of the sort of gory, straightforward games that were all the rage back in the day. It even has a soundtrack composed by Doom veteran Andrew Holschold to send those nostalgic shivers down your spine while you turn your enemies into clouds of fine red mist. And of course, Game Pass members can also go straight to the source and download any one of the Doom games which have been added since Bethesda rolled into town, so you really can't go wrong. Are you gearing up to spend this summer enjoying the high-octane antics of a certain furiously fast crew? Then you might want to make a pit stop and download Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered via EA Play. It's just like the games of cops and robbers you would play as a kid, only both sides have access to ridiculously fast supercars 
and all kinds of high-tech gadgets to bamboozle the others with, like EMP blasts and road spikes. And if your childhood games did include these things, I have questions for your parents. The remaster runs at up to a dazzling 4K60, giving a cinematic shine to every daring maneuver and exhilarating crash. Plus, it now boasts crossplay, so you'll never run out of friends to engage in high-speed pursuits with. With its pop-up book aesthetic and cheerful cartoon characters, Bug Fables is the sort of game that can win you over before you've even started playing it. And when you do finally stop gushing over the sheer adorableness of V the Bee and her buggy friends, you'll find an RPG that's both a love letter to games gone by and a great adventure of its own. Turn-based battles are combined with quick time actions to create a system which rewards careful strategy and clever fingers in equal amounts, while a clever little mechanic called Turn Relay lets you pass turns between party members, adding another layer of tactical possibility. If you're a big fan of the discombobulated physics found in Human Fall Flat, but feel like wobbling around is really more of a group activity, then look no further than Gang Beasts on July 1st. This slapstick party game stars a group of similarly doughy characters who all suffer from a similar inability to walk in a straight line without an immense amount of effort on the player's part, which makes beating the living daylights out of all the other players both a lot more difficult and a lot more hilarious, especially when you're doing it on top of a moving blimp. Do you know what most strategy games don't have enough of? Vampires. Immortal Realms Vampire Wars has you leading your very own faction of seductive bloodsuckers into battle, striving to become the most powerful clan of sunshy warlords this world has ever seen. To that end, it combines turn-based strategy gameplay with a few card game flourishes that are sure to keep you on your toes as you stalk through the shadows towards your next target. The perfect after-dark choice for gamers who love ordering troops around a battlefield. Finally, we've got the infamous puzzle platformer Limbo, which is arriving across all platforms on July 1st. Everything about Limbo is kind of unsettling, from its desolate world to its sparse story, eerie atmosphere and shadowy aesthetic. Oh, and also the bear traps, suicide worms and giant spider monsters. They're all quite unsettling as well. Blending conventional platform gaming with German expressionist style ultimately produced a game which was unlike anything we'd ever seen before and whose influence you can still find in games like Little Nightmares. It's full of haunting visuals, ingenious puzzles, and a sort of enigmatic ending that immediately launches a thousand fan theories. So, one way or another, it's sure to stay in your brain for a long time after you've finished playing it. As well as all these lovely new games, we've also got a few neat upgrades on the way for titles that are already part of the Game Pass library. On June 29th, Doom Eternal will be bringing an even more refined form of demonic bloodshed onto the Series X and S, courtesy of its free new next-gen upgrade. Blast your way to victory in stunning 4K60, watch the ray-traced lighting effects twinkle along the blood of your fallen enemies, or even crank things up to 120fps for the smoothest Doom experience yet. Elsewhere, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts will be added to the stacked list of games which you can stream directly onto your mobile devices, thanks to the cloud if you're an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscriber. Speaking of which, we'll also be getting touch controls for another 8 games, meaning that Game Pass now has over 70 titles available for you to swipe away at. The new batch includes the recently added Yakuza Like a Dragon, which is a perfect fit for touch controls now that it's gone all turn-based. RPG fans can also take advantage of the new controls in Octopath Traveler, Haven and Torchlight 3, while the strategically minded can plot their way through Empire of Sin. And if you're looking for more action-packed experience to get hands-on with, Dirt 5 is now touch compatible and so is Double Kick Heroes. And after all that excitement, you can rest your weary bones with some tranquil, painterly fun in East Shade. So there we have it, a bunch of new and exciting Xbox games to add to your queues on PC, console and the cloud. It's not even Christmas. You're welcome. Let us know down in the comments which games you're going to be playing. Give us a like and remember to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Bye.